Hi everybody, it's Miss Baldry here. It's time for a story. So get yourself all snuggled up and we'll begin. The title of this book is Yuck! And look, there's a baby bird with something in its mouth. I don't think it likes it. What do you think's in its mouth? How did it get in its mouth? Why is a baby bird eating something he doesn't like? The author of this book is the person who wrote it, and that's a man called Mick Manning. The illustrator is the person who drew the pictures, and her name is Britta Grandström. Let's have a look at the back of the book, where the blurb is. The blurb tells us what the book's about. What's for supper? A wriggly worm? Yuck! Come and join all sorts of babies in the slimiest, stinkiest, most revolting feast ever. But with spiders, lizards and rotten eggs on the menu, who will say yum and who will say yuck? Oh, this book sounds like it's going to be fun. Let's see. What's for supper? This baby eats a worm. A wiggly worm? Tugged out of the lawn? That's not our baby's supper. Yuck! Can you see that bird eating that long, juicy worm? He hasn't got any teeth. I think he might have to swallow it all up. Yuck! What's for supper? This baby slurps a rotten egg. A rotten egg? All stinky and smelly. That's not our baby's supper. Yuck! Oh, that's the baby bird from the front cover. Maybe he does like the rotten egg after all and he's slurping it all up. Doesn't sound like nice food for me though. What's for supper? This baby gobbles up a spider. A spider? With eight hairy legs? That's not our baby's supper. Yuck! Oh, look at that gecko. He's eating that hairy spider head first. Ugh. What's for supper? This baby swallows a raw fish. A raw fish? Head, tails, fins, all in one go? That's not our baby's supper. Yuck! A raw fish is a fish that hasn't been cooked yet, so it's all slimy. I think these birds like eating fish because there are skeletons all over their nest. Skeletons are the bones which are left behind after all the flesh and the muscles have been eaten. Look, they're fighting. I wonder who's going to win. What's for supper? This baby crunches up a black beetle. A beetle, all crispy and crunchy and straight out of cow pat. That's not our baby's supper. Yuck! Oh, look at that brown toad with his long tongue catching that beetle. Do you know what cow pat is? It's cow poo. <laughs> That's disgusting. What's for supper? This baby gulps down a furry rat. A furry rat? With a scaly tail and a loud squeak? That's not our baby's supper. Yuck! Oh, do you know what animal that is? It's a baby owl. They wake up when it's night time, which is why the background's all black. I think he's enjoying that rat, but he looks very big. Not for me, thank you. What's for supper? Our baby has a drink of milk. Milk! Mmm, warm and creamy. That's our baby's supper. Yum! Oh look, it's a human baby. Babies drink milk and so do adults. What other animals can you think of that drink milk? 
But what about all those other babies? The ones that eat worms, eggs, spiders, fish, beetles and rats. What would they say about warm, creamy milk for supper? What do you think? Do you think those animals would like some milk? Or do you think it would be yuck? Yes, you got it. Yuck! I don't think they like milk. Because we're all different and we all like different things. Did you enjoy that book? I certainly did. Which was your favourite part? I think my favourite bit was when the toad ate the beetle from the cow pat. Disgusting! Why don't you try writing a story of your own? Each page starts with what a supper and then you can describe the food of each animal using some adjectives like blue, yellow, green, bumpy, rough, smooth, slimy. Then you might want to illustrate it and then you can send it to your teacher. Don't worry if you can't write, I'm sure there must be an adult in your house that can do it for you. Oh, thank you for such a wonderful story time. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye!